Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs and today uh, I'm going to do a little bit different style um, project video here. I already have the charging dock here pre-built um, so I'll go over how I built this. It's pretty self-explanatory that's why I'm not going to show you putting it together but I'll show you how I went over this. Different ways you can modify it to make a even more uh, universal product here. And then um, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip of this cutting out on the machine um, since we're not going to be putting it together today. And then we'll come back to this. Okay, you guys, so there you go. That was the cutout there. I know it went pretty quick. Um, I think it only took like four minutes to cut this out and engrave the letters. As you can see, the letters were engraved, and then all the inside was cut out. Um, so a few things real quick before we end the video here. Um, this is going to be a real short one. Um, so this is made for the standard square charger for like the lightning cable on the iPhone here. Um, now, if you want like the USB-C... Um, charging port that might be slightly bigger I'm not sure if it is um, any bigger or not since I don't have the USB-C one but if you need to edit this this would work with like Android phones or that USB-C all you have to do is ungroup the entire design select that um, this cutout here and then measure your actual charger um, both the width and height and then change the width or change the height and the width of this uh, cutout and then that's how you would get it to work with any kind of phone that you want and then a few other modifications you could do is if you want to add like something to the side here so you can wrap your cable up you can I personally don't like to do that because you could damage your cables so that's the reason why I didn't add them now just a quick overview on how to assemble this obviously this is going to be your back side you're going to lay that flat on the table and then you're going to put this middle piece on first by hammering it in and then um, when you have both the back and middle put together you're gonna take this uh, this front side here lay it flat on the table like this and, and then you're gonna hammer it in this way the reason why you're gonna do that is since you have the cutout here and then these four little tiny score lines to give that effect like the the uh, battery is floating there if you hit in the wrong area like if you hit too high on accident you may break that out obviously you've got quite a bit of room to not hit that but it's better safe than sorry and that's pretty much it um, now one other thing is if if for some reason it doesn't go on completely straight so like if the um, design is a little crooked um, like this top lid here bends down a little bit you can just take the hammer and hit it slightly on this little edge here and that will flatten it out for you but that's another reason why it's nice that you lay it flat like that um, so that's pretty much it that's the entire design I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know it was a little bit shorter this time I'm running low on time today but I wanted to get this out show you guys different ways to modify it and uh, we'll catch you guys next time